All right, this is just a quick way of creating a route on Strava. If you log into your Strava account and click on the little pause sign at the top and click create route, it'll take you to a map of your local area. When that loads up, what you can do, you can zoom in to wherever you want to start your ride. For example, let's click that road there. That's your starting point. If you zoom out a little bit, you can click other parts of the map, and that gives you waypoints. So you can click around the map, creating your route, and as you're creating it, if you come back to the start, if you want a bit of a loop, that Strava will then create the miles, show you how far it's gone, how much elevation's there. And if you click on this button here, it'll give you your segments as well. You can incorporate those into your ride. Obviously, you need to make sure you click your waypoints on those roads. You should be fine with that. If you want to edit your ride, you can click on one of the waypoints and you can pull it out slightly if you want to, move it to a different road. Um, if you want to add some more climbing or less climbing in, um, if it's stuck on minimum elevation, what I'll do is give it a minimum elevation that it can do, and the roads that it sends you on are 99.9% .9 pretty much decent roads. There are ones that cyclists use all the time. I've never really come across any routes that I've built that are like crazy or motorways or anything like that. So it's it's pretty reliable from my experience. I like it on maximum elevation though. I like, I like to work the legs a little bit. If you want to click on save, if you're happy with your route. Click on the name your route, let's name it test for this one. And what this will do then is it'll save your route onto your Strava and it'll take you to view your route on here. When this loads up on here, what you can actually do is if you scroll down a little bit, you can see where all your elevation is. It'll take you around your route so you know whereabouts things are. And once that's done, if you want to put it on your Garmin, I always export to TCX, that'll download it onto your desktop. Um, and when it's on my desktop I'll plug my Garmin in and I'll open my Garmin and there's a file on there called new files and I'll drag and drop that file into there on my Garmin and then when I load my Garmin up it stays in my courses so then I'll go in and I'll start my route from there if you find something's wrong with the route like this little bit down here looks a bit dodgy if you click on duplicate it should take you back into your editor it might ask you to save a different name there you go just click on cancel to that and then you can back in basically on your editor again you can zoom in or zoom out move around the map click your waypoint if you want to pull it out a little bit you can do it'll change your route again for you or you can move it back in a little bit depending where you want your route to be um, when you're happy with that just click save again and go through the same process um, you can turn your elevation on while you're building your route as well if you want so you can check that out at the same time which is pretty good um, like I say that this is one way I use Strava to create my routes and put them on my Garmin and I haven't really gone wrong to be honest with you so I recommend it. Thank you very much.